Hey Point Kids, I'm Evan. And I'm Abby. We are so glad you decided to join us today. Yes, we are going to have so much fun and I can't wait. I'm super excited. Let's get started. Let's do it. What's first? First is values. Values are so important. And why are they so important? Because they tell us what we value as a Point Kids family. Oh, okay. Let's start with value number one. Do you know what value number one is? If you said love God, you are absolutely right. But why do we love God? We love God because God is love and He first loved us. God loves us a whole lot. And He also loves something else, which brings us to our second value. Our second value is love people. But why do we love people? We love people because God loves all people. That is crazy, because there's like a bunch of people in the world, right? There are a lot of people in the world, like billions. Wow. Well, what about a third value? Our third value is do your best. What happens when we do our best? When we do our best, God does the rest. That's pretty cool, but the fourth value is my favorite. Well, what's the fourth value, Evan? Have fun. And why do we have fun? Because God gives us joy. Great job. Next is worship. So everybody get up on your feet as, and join us as we worship Jesus.
Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for everything you've done for us and everything that you're doing for us, Lord Jesus. And thank you that we still get to worship you every Sunday. And I just pray for all the things. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, next is the memory verse. First, I'm going to say it. Then you repeat it after me. And finally, we will say it together. If you're ready, say, let's go. For I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Romans 1 16. Now you repeat after me. For I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Romans 1 16. Awesome. Now let's say it all together. For I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Romans 1 16. Great job, guys. Let's go talk about our main point. Hey, Evan, what's our main point for today? Our main point is that the power of Jesus raises the dead. Oh, wow. I can tell that this video is going to be awesome. Me too. Let's watch this video and learn about how the power of Jesus raises the dead. Well, hello and welcome to week two of Sunday Morning News. I'm your host, John Jacob Jingleheimer Volzenwagen, but today you can call me Charlie. Today is week two on our study of the miracles of Jesus, and we are very excited to dive into a story of a man named Jairus and his daughter who is sick. Now remember the main point today is the power of Jesus raises the dead. So let's go right into the field to some of our sources who we hope can tell the story a little bit better today. Hi, welcome to Sunday Morning News. Hey, thanks for having me back. All right. Well, uh, Benny, great to see you today. Really happy you're here. Oh, I'm really excited to tell some more stories for you guys today. Miracles of Jesus are the best. Mm, so glad that you're here. Uh, Benny, today we're actually studying the story of a little girl that Jesus raised from the dead. Do you know that story? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that story. Okay, so a really long time ago, I'm talking like really long time ago, like way, 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 way back. Like, I'm talking like Jesus time. All right, so there's this guy named Jairus, right? And he has this daughter, and he knows that his daughter needs help. So what he does is, is he knows that Jesus is in the city, and so he leaves the house to help his daughter, and he knows that Jesus can help his daughter. So he goes all the way across the city and he finds Jesus and he asks him, Jesus, can you help my daughter? And Jesus is like, well, yeah, I'm Jesus. That's kind of what I do. And so like Jesus goes all the way back with Jairus, all the way back to their house. And he knows that the daughter is in need of some serious help. And guess what? Jesus helps her. She's having problems with this new bread recipe, and she doesn't know exactly how to make the bread. So Jesus no, no, teaches no. her Benny. how no, to no, no. make Benny. the bread. Mm -mm. Nope. He shows her close. how to add flour nope, not. and olive oil. Mm. That's not actually in the yeast, Bible. Because yeast helps it yeah. rise. And so they mm. wait around for a couple of hours this, and this have might a couple not work of cups today. of coffee. Huh. And just... Yeah. Shoot okay. the breeze a little bit. Mm. And then hey, while the dough is rising, Benny. they come back and they pat it down Benny. and they roll it up mm. and they put it in the pan. Oh, this was the best bread that anyone had ever tasted. You, may, you might even call it heavenly. They would make cinnamon rolls and muffins and those southern style biscuits that rise up real high. Ugh. But even loaves of bread. I mean, they were just, they were making bread left and right. And that's why it's called the story of the girl that Jesus taught to make bread. What a fantastic story you told us, Benny. It wasn't even close to the story that we were wanting to hear, 
but we appreciate you anyway. Hey, you're welcome. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to one of our other sources. Hello, are you there? Hey, everybody. You know what time it is. It's time for our scripture memory verse. Oh, good. It's you again. So I need everybody to get on your feet. No, no, no. That, uh, it's fine. We actually, if they were sitting down, that'd be great. Okay. The first time, I'm going to say it. Oh, no, no. No, we, we, uh, same kind of deal. We don't actually need the uh, scripture memory verses. I would really love for you to tell me this story. Now, the second time, you're going to repeat after me. Uh-huh. The third time, we're going to say it together. Oh, really? If you got it, say, I love miracles. You want to read the story? I have lots of stories memorized. Great. Okay. Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be a, a good day. I can tell. Or we could always learn John seventeen three. No, still no, huh? Second Corinthians five seventeen. Do you read the Bible? I love the Bible. Oh no, I thought you did. I just. We could memorize Revelation five ten. Oh, how very exciting! I love that scripture. It's a beautiful scripture. Beautiful passage in the uh, the word of the Lord. But uh, why don't we just tell the story? Do you know Jairus? Absolutely. I know a lot of the Bible. Ever heard of Jairus? Well, this week we can learn Romans 6.12. Mm-hmm. He had a sick daughter. Is that ringing a bell? Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body. Great. Great job, everyone. Keep working on that story and I'll see you next time. Oh, wow. That was a great uh, story. Not what we were looking for, but um, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, great. Uh, good news. This just in. We actually have another source here that uh, is a potential who knows this story. And so that is, that is fantastic. Why don't we go? Why don't we go check on that? Hello. Are you there? Okay, here. Hey, how you doing? Yes. Uh, my name's Tex Texerson. You call me Cowboy Tex. All right, Tex. Uh, we're we're studying the miracles of Jesus. They're very exciting, and uh, pretty amazing stories. And today we want to hear the story of Jairus's daughter, where Jesus healed uh, the girl that was dead. He raised her from the dead. Do you know this story? Yes. Yeah, I do know. I do know that story. Fantastic! This is actually looking pretty promising. So, would you mind telling us that story? Well, it started when uh, Jesus uh, was teaching in a, uh, in a in a synagogue. That's like an open air church, kind of like a picnic pavilion at a city park. And uh, well, he was teaching all this uh -huh. stuff, and uh, this fella came up. His name was Jairus, I believe. It may have been a, a soft J, Jairus. But uh, anyway, anywho, Jairus uh, I'm sorry? walked up and Text? said, uh, El Perdona, uh, pardon me, but I have a problem. My daughter's sick. And Jesus said, is that a fact? Well, Jairus said, that is a fact. And Jesus said, tell me more. And Jairus said, well, she's sick. I hear that you, uh, you heal people. Where on the street is, you're the son of God. Uh, I'd like your help. And Jesus said, is that a fact? And Jairus said, yeah, that's a fact. And uh, so Jesus said, let me talk to some I'm sorry? of my friends. And he said, hey, friends. Have you read this nobody, story? Nobody heard him because it was loud in the uh, synagogue. And then he waved and said, hey, Not quite sure friends. if that's uh, accurate. And then uh, old Peter, Jim, and James, uh, Philip. And James, I think they, they called him Jim for short. And then a girl named Lucinda was there. Uh, there's no Lucinda in the Bible. You don't hear a lot about her at all. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe I hadn't read the whole book of the Bible, but she probably brought up later. Um, anyway, nope, anywho, anywho uh, Jesus said, hey, come here, huddle up. And they, uh, they did a you know, like football uh, not soccer football, but like uh, gridiron football. So they huddled up and put their heads Can together I... as if to hear one another better. But Jairus couldn't hear, so he's on the outside kind of trying to eavesdrop. So in the huddle, Jesus said, hey, there's a guy over there. Um, 
Don't everybody look at once or he'll know we're talking about him. His name is Jairus. He's over there. And uh, he said, he says he had, has a daughter that's, uh, well, sick. And she's real sick. And he wants us to heal her. And uh, I just want to know what y'all yep. think. Well, Lucinda didn't like it. Uh, she had, uh, she thought they were going to eat. She's super hungry and wanted some flatbread and some uh, pita and whatnot. And Peter said, wait, Peter, you're talking to me? She said, no pita, like the bread, like the, because they were in the Middle Eastern part of the West. And uh, Jesus said, hey, y'all are really distracting me. Jairus is still waiting. We're being kind of rude. And uh, and James said, hey, can y'all call me Jim from now on? And Jesus said, hey, y'all, focus. Focus on Jairus. And so Lucinda said, look, I'm going to count to three. And everybody just run. I don't want to help this guy. So Lucinda counted one, two, three. And they, they went Splitsville, which means just away. And uh, Jesus was left there. And he said, look. I want to help you. My friends don't. Um, Give her two aspirin and uh, some chicken noodle soup. She'll be fine. I I don't think that's that's true. You said Jesus always wants to help us. He's always there for us. And and the disciples were right there with it. I don't think they wanted to run anywhere. Plus, it's Lucinda who's not even in the Bible. You're making Um, this up. That's, that's probably a loose interpretation. I think that's pretty much um, how it how it went, though. Because um, Lucinda, she was she's not good in the Bible. You aren't telling the story correctly. This is not the actual story. Hold on a second now. I'm. It's all coming back to me. Lucinda's not actually in the Bible. I don't think uh, she's actually she's my second cousin's neighbor, and. Uh, yeah, I I don't know why I had such a bad memory. She just was not very good. She's kind of rebellious. I'm not trying to gossip, but uh, I don't Tex. know if any of that's correct. But I Big do Tex. thank you for hey, having me on the Tex, show. Hey, you and, there. Uh, y'all treated me real kindly, nice, been real hospitable. Well, uh, that story wasn't in the Bible. Maybe it would make a great nursery rhyme one day. Sounds like a fascinating children's book. Uh, unfortunately, we were actually looking for a story from the Bible, and that's not what you gave us. All right, now, Will. All right. Uh, this is Cowboy Tex signing off. Uh, y'all be careful out there. Uh, kids, brush your teeth. Hey everyone, I've got an idea. Why don't we watch the actual Bible story together so that we can get the story right? Let's take a look. In the Bible, there is an amazing story of a man named Jairus who had a very sick daughter. One day, he saw Jesus and he ran as fast as he could to him. He pleaded and begged Jesus to come to his house and heal his daughter. He said, my little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. And so Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed them to his house because they wanted to see what would happen. On the way, some people came from Jairus' house to meet them. They said that they were too late and that his daughter was dead. Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, Do not be afraid, just believe. And so they continued to the house. When they came to the home of Jairus, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying loudly. He went into the house and said to them, Why is everyone crying? The child is not dead, but asleep. But the people in the house laughed at him because no one in the house believed him, and he made them go outside. Then he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him, and they went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and began to walk around. Everyone who saw this great miracle was amazed. There, you see, what a great Bible story. So much fun watching those Bible stories and learning those Bible stories. And what an amazing miracle. Jesus raised this little girl from the dead. That's awesome. And you see, that's why the main point today is that the power of Jesus raises the dead. 
And yes, Jesus can bring people back to life. God brought Jesus back to life after he died on the cross for us. But what this story is also telling us is that it's our hearts. When we don't have Jesus, it's like we're dead inside. It's like things are yucky. We don't have any life. We're not really living the life that Jesus wants us to have. And so when we ask Jesus into our heart, it's as if we come to life and we can see things for the first time. And Jesus gives us this incredible life to live. And that's what he wants for us. And so today, if you want to do that, you can ask Jesus into your heart and have the best life that you can ever have. You can have Jesus as your best friend and live with Jesus forever. It's an amazing thing. So don't forget, the main point for today is the power of Jesus raises the dead. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Wow, I learned so much in that video. I did too. I learned that the power of Jesus raises the dead. Maybe you guys can talk about what you learned with your parents. Yeah, and after this video, there'll be three questions on the screen to answer with your parents, as well as a prayer on the screen. This is what we want you to pray with your parents. If you accept Jesus into your heart and ask him to be your very best friend, we want you to tell your parents. Yes, this decision is very important, and we'd love to celebrate with you. Well, guys, I think it's time to go. I think so. Thank you so much for joining us, and we cannot wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye.